Hey girly pops, it's Mama Campalicious. What's tea? It's Halloween. I'm gonna be in the house bored as shit, watching movies. Since I'm not going anywhere, I decided to draw my characters in Amazon costumes and pretend they're going to a party. So what I did today was go on Amazon and picked a few costumes and put them on a random Google choice wheel. Shout out Google. And I did the same with my characters. At first I was gonna do seven. Delta, Bright Light, Cammy, Jojo, Scout, Witch Hazel, and Jimmy. But I was running out of time and only did four. Well, technically five. I had to ask Instagram who to choose out of the last three to draw. And thanks to the one person who replied, Witch Hazel was chosen. I would have loved to do all of them cause I haven't drawn some of these characters in a while. But Shawty ran out of time. The random wheel paired Cammy with the Captain Marvel costume, Scout with the Fembot costume, Jojo with the Playboy costume, or would this be a Playgirl costume? I don't know. And Bright Light with the children's fairy costume. Weirdly enough, I'm pretty sure that's the only Austin Powers movie I haven't seen. Also, Beyonce in that in Gold Member, I think it was called Gold Member. Um, why? Okay, do y'all remember? <laughs> Do y'all remember the scene when she was in the um wetsuit and she was getting out of it and she was shaking her afro off? Was that a stunt double? Was that a stunt double? I need to know. Because why did it for like a, a split second, why did she look like Solange? And I know they're sisters, but it was weird how much she looked like Solange. Cool, when the baby. afro was like really <laughs> small and she was shaking it out. And she looked like Solange. I swear to God, Solange like stood in for her as a stunt double that day. I don't know what it that was about anyway now that y'all know the pairs let's get into the doodling and drawing my name is cammy and i'm not mcu captain marvel Woo! it was only till after i started the drawing that i realized brie larson never put this costume on that knowledge did sadden me but we prevail if you don't know or remember cammy she is from my first real YouTube video. Actually, I should say my first CCU YouTube video, Campbell's Cinematic Universe, where I did this Pinterest OC challenge popularized by Emma Artley herself. Out of all my OCs, I chose her for this because I wanted to draw her again. Honestly, she was my favorite to draw from that video. Besides, Greer's gargle, 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 gargle these nuts. Anyway, <clears throat> besides Greer's gargoyle form, I really desperately needed to draw that hair again and what better excuse than a halloween video and cherry on the top she kind of got the best costume anyway cammy is a werewolf so i thought it would add to the halloweenness of the video even though she's not in wolf form or anything i just thought about her in wolf form in this costume and i'm kind of pissed at myself why didn't i do that originally that would have ate I did give her fangs, but that just makes her look like a vampire. Not at all like the werewolf she is. I'm trying to play around with my art style, so I think she looks a little different from the last time I drew her, but damn, her hair looks good. You gotta give it to me for drawing hair that looks that good. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know, you tell me. I think it looks phenomenal. I think it's probably some of the best hair I've drawn besides the last time I drew her. Sometimes I just can't get hair correct. And I feel like I got it correct here. You know what I mean? Like the length, the style, the color, it all looks good on her. There are some characters that I did on this video that I'm rethinking their hairstyles and hair colors. And let's just not talk about it, even though I might bring it back up. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, when I first started drawing, I couldn't figure out how to pose her. I also wasn't really sure what I was doing, but now that I'm you know done with it i have more thoughts on what i could have done in the end i just went with the pose that the costume came in i thought that was cute and made sense and it worked and she looks good in my opinion i just want to fill this space real quick so here's a little wrap kimmy is a baddie 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 kimmy is a baddie 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 Kimmy is a big bad 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 baddie kimmy is a big bad 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 baddie kimmy is a big baddie wolf kimmy is a big baddie wolf Kimmy is a big buddy wolf. Also, body is T. When I initially finished, or sort of finished Kimmy, I wasn't sure if I liked it, but I think the background really helped make it pop. 
and even looking at it now i feel like there's some stuff i could add to it boom shakalaka yes god yes god yes god my name is bright light and i'm a silly little fairy Woo! the name's baddie on the easel is bright light formerly starlight baby when i tell you all of my bodily functions quite literally stopped working when i realized i was like legit just stealing annie from the boys soup name i truly sat there for a minute dumbfounded bright light is a twink in a butch body you know what's weird sometimes i will build the bones of an entire world and characteristics for a character and do absolutely nothing with it my goal for next year is to draw as many comics as I can and include as many OCs as possible. There are so many OCs in my head begging to have their stories told. For instance, Bright Light is a plus size black queer femme man who was given essentially the powers of every lantern court in the DC comics by a mysterious deity. He's also a hopeless romantic who is recovering from a brutal breakup. Why haven't I already written that story? What's stopping me? I don't know. Maybe imposter syndrome. Maybe I feel like I'm not at the stage artistically where I can take myself seriously as a comic artist. Anyway, as I said earlier, Bright Light got paired with this silly ass children's costume that I think he's rocking without a care in the world. I also changed the colors only because I thought all that pink was boring. And I never think pink is boring, but it was a lot of pink, so. Personally, I hate this costume on him, but as you can see, he is having the time of his life. Uh, a bear in one hand and a fairy wand in the other. She was a fairy. I like this design. I don't love it, but it's cute and playful. But I definitely have to come back to Bright Light and judge him up a bit. I mean, that fuck ass. Bye -bye. Why did I do that? Anyway, I think he looks cute and will definitely be spilling beer on everyone all night. Another rap to fill the space. Bright Light is a baddie, a baddie, baddie, baddie. Bright Light is a baddie, a baddie, baddie, baddie. Bright Light is a baddie, a baddie, baddie, baddie. Bright Light is a baddie, a fairy, baddie, baddie. Bright Light is a berry. Betty? Barry? Come on. What's up? What's up? What's up? My name is Witch Hazel and I got the sexy maid costume. Woo! This is Witch Hazel, the witch, yet another character fall into the wayside. I think I drew him once when I was in my only drawing hot baka himbo men phase. Honestly, that's just not him in my head anymore. My original intentions for him were that he was this whimsical fairy-like witch boy. Kinda if Young Maleficent and Hulkling were one person. I do enjoy his original design, but I think I definitely wanna play around and figure his character out a little more. I know I said I wanted to draw more comics for my OCs, but I haven't even been drawing them in general. So that's something I need to do also. I think I want to do a video just drawing a bunch of my OCs in my sketchbook. I think that'll be chill and fun, you know? And I also don't really draw in my sketchbook anymore, so maybe I should do that video just to, you know, get back into sketchbooking. Every artist should sketchbook. It's really therapeutic. So Witch Hazel, the witch, got paired with the maid's costume, like I said, that was disturbingly in every TikTok boy's closet in 2019. What was that about? also not mad at it i think it suits him though i think ribbons and bows would be a big part of his character design witch hazel is a cute rookie green witch not the green witch <laughs> but a pretty powerful young witch nonetheless he is 19 and in witch college or some type of magical school i don't know i'm still thinking about his story he has these huge pointy elf like ears I don't know why, but because he's not an elf. But coming up with a backstory for him in the future will be fun. I hope it doesn't look like he's sad. I was going for like a semi-sultry kind of flirty look. Like maybe they are 
playing spin the bottle which i myself have never partaked in people even still play spin the bottle the only thing i regret about this drawing is his hair his original hair is like this rainbow clusterfuck pixie cut that I was not about to do again. So I went with whatever this black and pink mess is. Overall, I think he looks cute. And I'm sure he had a cute little kiss with someone at the party. I can't, how do I? Cause I don't feel like I did it right the first time. It's a big thing. I need everybody to leave a like and a comment. My name is Scout and my name is Jojo. And we are a Fembot and a Playboy. Woo! Originally, I was gonna do Scout and Jojo on separate canvases, but since they are canonically a couple in my CCU, Campalicious Cinematic Universe, I thought it would be cute to have them dancing at the party. Imagine some 50s, 60s music playing over the murmur of people speaking. They're both at least two shots in and feeling the buzz. I'm so glad I found this reference photo because it gave them in me so much life. I'm sorry to the original artist if this comes off as stealing, but I had to draw this. It was calling my name, literally. Scott was paired with the Finbot costume and Jojo with the sexy Playboy costume. Y'all know Scott and Jojo, and if you don't, I have a few videos where I talk about them, but I think these costumes are scarily good for them. I don't really think Jojo would go for the Playboy costume, but I think Scout would force him to wear it, so it works. I think they look really good. I mean, the angles on Jojo are a little wonky, but when aren't they? <laughs> and I couldn't tell what to do with Scout's makeup, so I just did whatever. Sorry about it. I think overall they look so good. I'm obsessed with this. I need to do more drawings where the characters are moving. I do a lot of stiff pose drawings. I don't know why and I'm a character artist so I should do more posing like like Flynn posing anyway I try but sometimes it, they just don't come out right and I just give up I think I would be staring at them the whole night if I was at the party with them mostly because they're both like eight feet tall but they also just look good they were definitely my favorites when I was done but that's not a shocker I love them side note how is y'all's October going this spooky month has been pretty chill for me. I've definitely had better Octobers though. Things are getting a bit spooky. And I'm not, you know what? I'm not in the best place, but if you didn't know, I'm like severely unemployed. Not to get all sappy, but Back, not to get all sappy, but back in June, my grandpa died and my fuck ass job was being weird and uncommunicative. I really didn't need to lose my job and my grandpa at the same time. That sucked a bag of dicks. Um, and even before that, it's been a rough couple of months, but you know, I get through it. I cope. I have my art. I have my movies. I have TV. I have music. You know, I have books. I'm doing well. You know, my emotions are regulating. I cry when I need to. I get angry when I need to, you know. Things happen. You just gotta keep chugging. I don't wanna be sappy for too much longer, but when people say life only gets harder the older you get, they certainly were not lying and they weren't wrong. I don't know, I feel like the second I turn 18, like, Life has been one shade of gray, not 50, just the one when it used to be in Technicolor. Honestly, some days I feel like I'm in limbo. The days are more often than not gray and listless. Even when I had a job, they were gray and listless. It was the same, maybe worse because back then I couldn't even draw. I couldn't even read. I couldn't even, you know, watch TV and movies how I wanted to because I was so busy with work and paying bills. I, even when I had the time to do the things, I liked the energy because the job, the job was so draining. I don't, this really is a spooky video because I'm out here talking about my feelings. Ew. Anyhow, that's baby final thoughts. Overall, this was so fun and a really good way to force myself to draw my OCs more often. I definitely have to use that Google wheel picker some other time. Cause that was fun. Let me know down below on the digital whiteboard which drawing is your fave. And if you enjoyed this video, come back for more. 
And if you thought it was a crock of hot toilet water, then you can have a ooky spooky night and eat some candy for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go book a dentist appointment. I think I have a few cavities. Thanks for watching and remember, stay campalicious and see you later. Mwah. Between time, I'm connecting the dots, stretch my back. <laughs>